The National Assembly's Committee on Industry, Trade and Cooperatives has stopped the release of at least 456 containers of edible oil imported into the country in 2018. The committee that inspected the impounded consignment at a freight station in Mombasa also demanded that samples of the oil be retested by relevant government agencies and a report be tabled before it at a later date. Kevin Mutai with the details. The Committee on Trade and Industry inspected 11 containers carrying the controversial imported edible oil at a container freight station in Mombasa. The lawmakers say they can only account for 58 containers out of the more than 500 containers shipped into the country last year. We are not comfortable in uh, uh, accepting that the rest of the containers should be released into the market because it is not safe. In January this year, the Kenya Bureau of Standards released a report detailing the testing of the samples of the shipment and declared them unfit for human consumption after discovering that the oil lacked crucial components such as vitamin A. But in what the committee is calling an about turn, Kebs is now saying that the element has no effect on the consumer and therefore it should be used as a raw material. Itakuaje mafuta ambayo ilisemekana haijafikisha kiwango cha kutumika na mwananchi mwaka mmoja uliopita. Sasa imepimwa tena na ikaonekana iko sawa. There are cases of cancer in this country is rising and we want to eliminate any possibility of our product going into the market that may re result into a problem for all Kenyans tomorrow. Trade Cabinet Secretary Peter Munya was to appear before the committee in Mombasa to answer to questions surrounding a 10 billion shilling waiver on the imported edible oil. The decision to process was made long time ago. The challenge has been the importers not being able to get contracts from those who process for them to process. And processing simply means fortifying. The committee now wants fresh samples taken for retesting before tabling a report concerning the circumstances surrounding the importation of the cooking oil. They also want the Directorate of Criminal Investigations to intervene and interrogate the matter, maintaining that if the consignment is released to the market, then it might be repackaged to conceal its original expiry date of May 2020. Kevin Mutai, NTV, Mombasa.